I'm not sitting here uh, and saying that from programme one last September, uh, Daybreak hasn't got anything wrong or has always been, uh, if you like, the kind of uh, full and finished article. It's, it, it, it's a lot better than, than in a sense, uh, it's sometimes characterised. It has got better, it has settled, it continues to improve, and it will continue to improve. Would I like Daybreak to, uh, to, to, to broaden its audience, to continue to evolve? Yes, absolutely. Um, uh, but a lot has gone on, and a lot of con work continues to go on. And, and good Does work. that mean that you're therefore happy with the presenters, Adrian yes. Child and Christine Blakely, and yes. that they will stay in that role? Yes. No doubts, no ifs, no buts. No ifs, no buts. If you look at Coronation Street and Emmerdale, let's to kind of talk about them both together, um, more people watch both those shows than did a year ago. That's, that, that, that may not seem remarkable, but that's after years and years in which the audiences for soaps went sort of only in one direction. As multi-channel television blossomed and grew, uh, uh, you know, soaps just sort of went down. The question was, did they go down 3%, 5%? Year, year on year, 5% more people watch Emmerdale uh, this year than last year, and it's about 25 two to 3% more on Coronation Street. Now, of course, it's not only about the race, it's also about the quality of the show. And I think Coronation Street's 50th anniversary was one of its peaks, one of its high points in the, in, in the last year. By no means it's its only peak or high point. We started to do something with Coronation Street, which we're doing in a couple of weeks' time. We did it uh, 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 during Britain's Got Talent as well, which is to, to, to play it at nine o'clock for five days during one of these big uh, entertainment strips. And, and I think that's doing a very interesting thing, which is to say... The soaps are there all the time, but you can make them an event. You can turn them into event television as much as the X Factor's event television. People have sometimes said to me, oh, you must have known Downton Abbey would be a hit, to which I've always said, well, you never know. You don't know anything. So with Downton Abbey, it was one of those shows where we thought the scripts were very good. Um, uh, it came from an impeccable source, Carnival, a very good production company, uh, uh, and written by Julian Fellows. It then, you, you know, we commissioned it. They shot it. That all went very well. We looked at the tapes as they come in, they seem very good. That, doesn't, that didn't mean that the day before it was broadcast, I knew it would be a success, because I've seen all those things happen and ticked all those boxes along the way, and then the public decided, no, it's not for us. So, so I, don't, I don't know about the idea of it being a surprise that it was a success. We thought it would go well, but the point I'm making is never, ever, ever say, I know that show's a hit before the audience has decided it's a hit. Yes. In that sense, it's always a surprise, if you like. It's a delightful surprise when, when, when what you think is good is embraced by the audience. I wasn't surprised in as much as I'd always thought it was very good indeed. It, was, it wasn't a probable thing for ITV to do. We hadn't been in period drama in any significant way for a long time. So it, it, in that sense, you, you know, as, as the moment of it launching approaches, you're sort of crossing your fingers and thinking, I think an ITV audience will like this. But, you know, it's not a science. It's, it's, it's a guessing game. Of course it is.